So I'm gonna make two great big pans of the apple pie slices. One, I'm gonna do just straight apple, and the other, I thought, you know what? Let's throw a bunch of cranberries in. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jennifer here from A Country Life, and today we are going to uh, do some baking again because it's cold and there's gonna be a Packer game on today, and so I just thought, you know what, let's get something in the oven baking so that when Warren comes in from cranberry harvest stuff, <laughs> he's back at it today. When he comes back in, let's have something uh, tasty. If you have been kind of following along with my videos, probably the last video that I posted, I showed seven boxes of apples in my garage, and I, I shared with you these grand plans, right? I was gonna get through all those apples that, that Saturday, and at the end of the video, do you guys remember what happened? I got through one. One box. So I am left with six boxes. What I was thinking is to make something, again, that uses apples. And I also have a box of some uh, just fresh raked cranberries. So I'm going to try to incorporate those cranberries in my apple uh, dessert as well. I'm going to give you guys one guess what the dessert is going to start with. Put in your guesses right now, right now. Okay, it's going to start with pie crust because as you guys know, I seem to be absolutely addicted to pie crust. Um, from pasties to blueberry pies to rhubarb pies to what else have I shown? Just about every video I'm rolling out pie crust at some point. So anyways, I'm going to go out and grab those apples. What I'm going to make today is called apple slices. Now apple slices is really just, oh, Joe, just a minute, honey. I'll be there in a second. Apple slices is really just kind of like flat apple pie in a great big sheet pan. My plan, and I always share these plans with you guys, and then at the end of the video, it's not really what happened. But anyways, the plan is that I'm going to make two great big uh, sheet pans of apple pie slices. One is going to be straight apples. <laughs> I know, we're gonna use the stove today. Just a second, okay? Okay, yep, we'll use the fridge too, okay. Shh, shh, shh. So I'm gonna make two great big pans of the apple pie slices. One, I'm gonna do just straight apple, and the other, I thought, you know what? Let's throw a bunch of cranberries in and make apple cranberry. That just sounds really, really yummy to me. All right, so we have the same setup as yesterday. I have some salt water here. We've got our apple peeler core slicer over there. A bowl of apples, a Here. tray for the, you pick up all the scraps um, a tray for the scraps. I've got my knife here. Peter's going to help out. Looks like Sam's going to help out a little bit too. love helping in the kitchen and so it's really good to find something that they can do so since we need some beaten egg whites for the top I just thought you know Joe's been asking can I help can I help right yep I am. and I said sure you can beat those you got to go a little faster though good job So this is like true confession time here on this recipe. The only reason I really make this is because Warren loves this so much. Like, so, so much. It was a recipe that his mom made. I was never able to ask her um, to clarify some things in, in the original recipe. So I have since, over the years, tripled, tripled 
the dough recipe and it still does not quite work out in the pan just the way I want it to. So, I mean, I do have a lot of dough left here, but I figured that tripling the dough, I would be able to get two pans out of that because I thought, well, if I had like an extra half recipe for each pan, that should be big enough. But I'm doing it in the original, just like the original recipe calls for. Whoa, that's bright. Um, and the original recipe says to put it into a jelly roll pan. And yeah, this is just not pretty. I'm gonna try to fix this corner up a little bit and make it look a little bit prettier before brushing it with egg white. But um, yeah, so I will show you my favorite way to make something very, very similar to this. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute. There is just no way I'm gonna make another one of these. Let's get this finished up. I have to brush it with the beaten egg white and get it into the oven to bake. All right, so this is what I call rustic apple pie. I threw in some cranberries too, so I guess today we'll call it rustic cran apple pie. I just rolled out my dough into a huge circle. I transferred it to the tin foil so that I could uh, work with it and then lift it easily to get it back onto the pan. Topped it with some apples, topped it with cranberries, some sugar, cinnamon, and then you saw that I put the flour only around the outside. That's so that it still looks pretty here. I have done it where I put it over the top, but then the flour doesn't really um, kind of like dissolve in or cook in properly and you get little, it just looks very, very rustic, should I say. So anyways, I just put it on the edge. That way as the fruit juices and it drips down and it hits those, um, hits the flour, it kind of starts to thicken up naturally as it bakes. I'm going to uh, brush this with the leftover egg white. If I didn't have egg white, I wouldn't brush it. I just I'll throw it in the oven like this. This is just a super fast and easy way. As you can see, you're just folding over. You're not worried about the edges looking pretty or matching up or anything like that. I love making pies this way. Uh, I've made it with straight cranberry. I've made it with blueberry before. Um, of course, straight apple, just really anything you want. I would steer clear though of like custard pies, like pumpkin. So I don't know how the oven does this, but it just turns what, what looked just kind of like a apple pie mess and it just turned it into something that is just beautiful. If you do try making these and when you put them in the oven, you're like, oh, they just don't look very pretty. My crust is all patched and everything. You know, don't worry about it. It actually does look pretty when it all comes out. I mixed up real quick here a uh, little bit of milk and a whole lot of powdered sugar to make just kind of a nice glaze. And these have been out of the oven for, I would say, 20 minutes or so. So I'm just going to pour this glaze. Warren always says that the glaze is what really makes this recipe. And so he really likes it if I put a lot of glaze on. I can see that spot I left a little too much pie crust showing. <laughs> I really like it if it, if the glaze kind of goes over the edge. I don't know, that's like my favorite. Ooh, I almost didn't make enough. I think I'm gonna have to use a little spatula, so I gotta put the camera down. So here we go, here's what it looks like. And there is the inside, all ooey and gooey with yummy, yummy apples. And this is the one that I'm gonna eat. Here is the first of the rustic pies that I made. This one is crayon apple. The other one that's in the oven is apple. And that brings me to the end. So I'm just gonna wrap things up here for today. I hope you enjoyed another episode of me cooking in the kitchen, some of my oopsies and everything that goes along with it. Because when you're dealing with ingredients and you're dealing with kids helping in the kitchen and you're dealing with your own inadequacies, <laughs> Sometimes things just don't always go exactly how you'd hope they would go in the kitchen. But in the end, it always turns out we all end up eating very, very well. So if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that a ton. Uh, comment if you'd like and please subscribe. That way you'll stay uh, up to date with everything that's going on in the kitchen and with our family. And this time of year on the Cranberry Marsh as well. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.